My name is Allison and I'm a teen librarian at the Schomburg Township District Library. And it's time for another episode of Lunch and Listen, where I invite you to grab your lunch and sit back and relax while I share some young adult reading recommendations. Today's video is all about bookish books or books about books, <laughs> libraries and bookstores. The four books I'm talking about today are must reads for all my fellow book nerds out there. All right, so let's kick off today's video with A Soaring Fantasy by Margaret Rogerson titled Sorcery of Thorns. If I were to, to describe Sorcery of Thorns in three words, it would be fierce, magical, captivating. Elizabeth was raised in a magical library and wants nothing more than to be a sword-wielding librarian that protects the kingdom from evil grimoires. But her dreams are shattered when a grimoire turned monster is let loose in the library and someone is killed. The next day, she is whisked away by a sorcerer and his demon companion to be questioned for a crime she didn't commit. And all the while, more attacks are happening to other great libraries across the kingdom. This leaves Elizabeth with no choice but to trust the sorcerer, clear her name, and save the kingdom. Sorcery of Thorns is never dull. With nonstop action, secrets, and magical books, it makes for a roller coaster of a ride. Next up is a contemporary young adult book. Suggested Reading by David Connes. Clara Evans loves books and everyone knows it. She volunteers at her school library and over the summer she helps set up little free libraries in her town. When the new school year starts, she is horrified to discover that the principal has banned 50 books from the school library, including her favorite book of all time. Determined to right this wrong and fight against censorship, she decides to take a stand and sets up a secret library out of her locker, hoping that her fellow students', students lives will also be changed by the pages of these books. Suggested reading is both thought-provoking and hilarious. And luckily for everyone watching, this book is available to read right now as an ebook and audiobook through the Hoopla app. Now let's talk about The Reader by Tracy Chi. In this fantasy novel, reading is unheard of and books are illegal. Sefia is a survivor. After she witnesses the brutal death of her father, she lives with her rough around the edges aunt named Nin. Years later, Nin is kidnapped and at first Sefia feels utterly lost until she takes a closer, closer look at the only clue left behind, the rectangular object that the people who took her aunt were looking for, a book. This is the start of Sophia's dangerous, life-changing mission to rescue her aunt and discover the magic a book holds inside its pages. The reader is full of surprises and is just waiting for you to read it. It's the first book in a trilogy, and all of the books are already out. So last but certainly not least, I'm going to tell you about Recommended for You by Laura Silverman. Shoshana loves her job at the indie bookstore in the mall, but isn't really getting along with the new employee, Jack, who doesn't even like to read. What's even worse is that her moms seem to be fighting a lot lately, and her old car needs an overhaul so she can, you know, actually drive to work. But things start looking up when her boss announces a holiday bonus to whomever sells the most books. And who is better equipped to do just that than the avid reader Sorsana? Unfortunately, she discovers that the new guy is so charming to the customers that he's going to bring some tough competition. Recommended for You is a perfectly delightful, delightful romantic comedy. All right, everyone, that's it for today. As always, the list of the books I discussed 
along with links to past lunch and listen videos are in the description below. And I hope one of these bookish books sounded interesting enough for you to check out from the library. I hope you tune in again every other Tuesday for more young adult reading recommendations. Next video's theme will be narrative nonfiction. All right, thank you all again for watching. I hope you have a great afternoon and please stay safe. Happy reading. Thank you.